driving in the snow, not so much fun. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Network. My name is Michelle Mackey, and while we're not seeing snow on your Monday morning commute, you may want to give yourself a little bit of extra time through the GTA because it is going to be a soggy ride into work. Let's take a look at the numbers. So through most of Ontario, we're seeing between 10 and 20 millimeters through Monday morning. We'll see some showers through the GTA on Sunday afternoon, but again, the bulk of this rain is through the overnight and your Monday morning. Now, how about those temperatures? They will be rising as we go into our Sunday and Monday, but by Tuesday, we begin to see some of those darker colors indicating cooler temperatures are back in store. All right, now Nadine joins us with a great story on how climate change actually sparks more lightning. Thank you so much for that. And let's take you now to further west, shall we? All right, so Lake Louise, we are looking at some snowfall through Sunday night. So if you wanted to get out and maybe get an early ski or snowboard in through the, uh, the rocky resorts, well, it could be a very good Sunday and early next week for you there. All right, let's take you now to the prairies. We currently have a snowfall warning in effect, areas highlighted in blue, including Saskatoon. All right, if you're doing any traveling this weekend, we are going to take you in Toronto. We got our first real blast of winter winter weather as you can see people downtown bundled up and let me tell you you could feel that right down to the bones it was freezing all right and this is friday to finish us off through bc oh that looks rainy all right and unfortunately there is more rain on tap for this week for the bc coast my name is michelle mackey taking a look at your national forecast let's begin with your temperatures so what's happening we are seeing a warming trend sunday and monday through ontario but as you can see we are getting into those darker colors again by wednesday through central ontario all right and let's take a look now at your national forecast sunday we're seeing breezy conditions but clear skies for the most part through atlantic canada meanwhile on the bc coast very unsettled weather and rain. As you can see, this little snow uh, pattern here means that higher elevations will be seeing that snowfall, which is good if you want to get out for an early season ski or snowboard through the prairies on Monday, we're really going to see a dip in the jet stream, which means cold northern air funneling down very, very cold temperatures well below our seasonal norm. Meanwhile, lots going on. This right here is a combination of an Alberta clipper and a Texas low. They combine together over Ontario through Monday, bringing rain to southern Ontario, snow to northern Ontario. And by Tuesday, this system tracks to the east and that will be affecting Atlanta to Canada with some mixing through Newfoundland. All right, and how about Wednesday? Well, Wednesday we see a return through the East Coast to seasonal temperatures. Colder through Wednesday, that dip in the jet stream coming back. All right, now you don't want to miss Unearth airing from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. at the top of each hour. Stick around, it's a great show. The good news for you, Edmonton, we will see the sun poke back out on Sunday. Thanks so much for tuning into the Weather Network. My name is Michelle Mackey, taking a look at your national hot spots on Saturday, Vancouver Harbor for the win, nearly 13 degrees. And that's a trend we really will see continue throughout the winter months. In terms of our Sunday afternoon temperatures, Vancouver, we're going up to nine, and it's a similar story for Toronto as well. Nine degrees, we're seeing those warming temperatures. The price we will pay, unfortunately, is rain. We'll have more on that a little bit later. But now, to the east coast, we have some snow squall watches currently in effect for western portions of Newf Newfoundland and also for St. Lawrence and Marystown as well. We could see about 10 to 15 centimeters of snow accumulate through Sunday. We also have uh, a warning in place, a winter storm warning for parts of northern Ontario, Geraldton included, and we could see uh, very treacherous driving conditions. We have heavy wind, blowing snow, falling snow, all of those combined to make for a very nasty winter storm. And you know what? The watches, the warnings, they continue as we head into the prairies. Snowfall warning in effect for the areas highlighted in blue. That includes Saskatoon. And this is all due to a nasty Alberta clipper that's tracking east, bringing with it very, uh, very bad conditions in terms of driving and uh, snow accumulation as well. 
Let's take a look ahead. This is a little bit more pleasant in terms of temperatures for Vancouver, sitting around that seasonal average for you there. Meanwhile, in Calgary, we're seeing the sun come out. That's due to high pressure building into the province. Now, on Monday, November 24th, we will have our winter outlook for you. You really don't want to miss that. Thanks for that, Kelly. Great tips. Now, we won't be seeing much snow early next week. For southern Ontario, we will be seeing the rain, and that is due to what we call a Texas low, and that will also be affecting parts of the eastern seaboard through the states. In fact, in uh, southeast Texas, we actually had a 5% tornado risk on su Saturday, pardon me. So that just goes to show how powerful this system really is. It will be bringing severe weather through parts area, areas highlighted in the orange here. And this warm flow of air will also be bringing a flood warning to Buffalo. We had all of that snow accumulation earlier this week and the warm air coupled with precipitation means flood warning is a, a very likely possibility for the area. Thanks so much for tuning into the Weather Network. My name is Michelle Mackey, and let's get started with your Canadian forecast for Vancouver. Sunday afternoon, we're looking at a high of 9, but we will be seeing a 40 pop, very likely to see some of that rain moving in by the afternoon. Calgary, the sun is shining for you on Sunday afternoon. It might be a good day to get out and start those uh, outdoor Christmas decorations. I personally haven't started, so I should probably get a move on that. Regina, we're really seeing a dip in the temperatures. It is going to be cold. Minus nine but when we factor in the wind chill it will be feeling even colder tracking further to the east winnipeg will be seeing some flurries high of minus one all right coming up natalie thomas is going to give us a look at our long range forecast stick around so let's start out with those temperatures. While well, we are going to see a major rise in the temperatures in comparison to the last week in southern Ontario. So where we see the yellow here, that indicates temperatures in the low, uh, low teens. So we're back into the plus double digits. That's the good news. Unfortunately, the price we pay for those warmer temperatures is rain. So Sunday, it's going to be a pretty gray day, unfortunately. The good news is the warmer temperatures, of course. Now, uh, where we are in Ontario is going to determine the type of precipitation that we see. So precipitation widespread through Sunday, rain through southern Ontario. This pink area here, that indicates freezing rain and blue, of course, means snow. Now, Nathan Coleman joins us now on how climate change actually threatens global security. Thanks so much for that. Nathan Coleman, of course, is our Eastern Canada Bureau reporter and from the East Coast. We'll take you back now to Ontario. Here's a snapshot of the rest of your Ontario temperatures for Sunday morning. But let's talk Monday morning. The bulk of the rain that we are going to be seeing is through the pre-dawn hours through Monday. So through the GTA, looking at anywhere from 10 to 20 millimeters. Give yourself a little bit of extra time on that soggy Monday morning commute. All right, coming up, we will take a trip around the world with Kinder and Holiday festivities to go around and I think everyone was certainly in the Christmas spirit. Thanks so much for tuning into the Weather Network. My name is Michelle Mackey with a look at your Ontario forecast. Well, Sunday morning it's going to start off as a very gray and rainy day, but take a look at what moves in by Sunday evening. This right here is a Texas low, bringing with it a ton of moisture. The bulk of the moisture that we are going to be seeing will be in the form of rain through southern Ontario, about 10 to 15 millimeters through the overnight. So that Monday morning commute through the GTA, it's going to be a soggy one. You may want to give yourself a little bit of extra time. Let's talk about your temperatures, your high temperatures for Sunday afternoon, much warmer. We're well back into our seasonal average. All right, Nadine joins us now with a report on how climate climate change may actually spark more lightning. Fascinating. Thank you so much for that, Nadine. Let's take a look at your temperature grid here. So where we see areas in the yellow, that means we are in the low teens, and that's what we're seeing again for the start of next week. All right, now you're going to want to stay with us on the Weather Network. Unearthed will be airing from 1 to 5 a.m. at the top of every hour.